I was told to smile just before we went on, and I was, I was reading what the, uh, the next dish is, and it's not too tough to, to smile about that. Chef Nick Musser from Zephyr Grill and Bar in Kent with Parmesan Lemon Sole. Now, Susie Blattner from Federal Way is the nominator. When did you first have this, Susie? A uh, friend of mine and I actually went to Zephyr the, right after it opened uh, in Kent Station, and this was the dish that I ordered that night, and it's just... I've had it every time I've been there since. <laughs> <laughs> You're like me. You find something that's good, you stay with it. Okay, I'm going to ask Susie to step out, and then we'll bring you back in. You can taste it and see if uh, Nick Messer did the job okay. for you. Okay? Great. Thank you. Thanks, Susie. <laughs> Nick, that's quite an endorsement for yeah, our dish. I'm here to I tell you. You know, we do have other dishes on the menu, though, unfortunately, <laughs> so we've got to expand our horizons a little bit. Uh, you know, this is a great dish. We've been making it. I've been making this dish in different variations in different restaurants for the past 20 years, and I think oh a lot. God. I think a lot of chefs have something very similar to it. It's so great because it's so simple, but it's also very flexible in terms of what we use with it. So you can use chicken with it. You can use multiple different kinds of fishes with it, uh -huh. and 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 so it's just great. And and well, it. Let me get a pan hot. Here. Yeah, you. let's do it. We're gonna we're gonna be sautéing this today. We're making it with sole, lemon parmesan sole. So here's I got some olive oil for you there. Wonderful. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our, our breading station is what we call it. And so what that is is uh, we've got some flour, uh, some egg wash, and then a little panko. So let's prep our panko for this. Wonderful. We've got some fresh grated parmesan cheese. We're gonna add to it. So this is the classic English breading, flour, egg wash, breadcrumb. Exactly. Or some mixture of breadcrumb and something else. Exactly. Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little fresh lemon and we're going to grate it into ah, that. Oh, right into the breading. Yeah. And we got one of these great microplanes which are so sharp and so nice and do such a great job of bringing that nice fresh scent of lemon into our, uh, into our breading. Another item, I swear I'm not a gadget guy, but I love the oh, microplane there's, grater. Aren't there, there's certain ones out there that are just fantastic, and that's one yeah, of them. Yeah, you just can't get along anymore without a microplane. So I'm going to just take my fingers and just kind of spread that around, kind of get the cheese and the, and the um, lemon zest and the panko kind of blended together, and then we're ready to roll. That's now, a nice breading. So that was Parmesan, right? Right. Parmesan, okay. panko, lemon zest. It's very yep. simple. Great. Now we've got some fresh sole here, Dover sole in this case, and um, this is one of those things you have to learn when you're doing breading, is always keep one hand wet and one hand dry otherwise you end up with yep you right. gotta do yeah. it I always have my hands like ready to fry by the end of the <laughs> Exactly, process. covered with breading. They're perfectly breaded. So we're going to season with a little salt and pepper here. Serve it well done, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we only really need to do one of these, but we're going to start with the with the flour. We're going to dust it. Oh, dry, wet. We're going to shake off shake any off excess. Yep. Excess. Gonna, oh, one thing we forgot to do, actually, put a little bit of milk. And I'll take that fork. Oh, oh not a bad okay. idea. The reason we do that is because the egg uh, holding on its own is just a little thick. You want to thin it with a little milk so it's not quite so thick. I'm going to drop that into the egg. Now I go with my wet hand. And then once I do that, I'm going to dip it into the... For the breading. The breading, exactly. And then over here, Greg's got that pan hot for us already. Ready I do. If, if it's feeling pretty good, I'm going to add some oh, olive oil to great the breading. Yeah, and so we got that cheese in there, the cheese, lots of lemon got. flavor. And you have a nice, substantial saute pan here, Nick. I think this is going to... This is my home pan. It is? <laughs> yeah. This so. is what people need at home, is one that's thick and a little bit heavy to lift. I've got one just like that. Do you? Yeah. So, so once that oil is hot, we're just going to lay that fish into the hot oil. Too thin now that bread is going to have real taste, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Because so, so often the breading comes on our dish and it looks so good and you take a bite and there's, and there's no really point. nothing there. <laughs> right, right. So that's, yeah, definitely the Parmesan cheese and the lemon add to that. You know, while we're, I'm going to let you cook that. I trust your ability to cook this fish for me. <laughs> so we're going to work on the lemon butter sauce while you're doing that. Okay, well, so, I trust you to do that. All right, so we got uh, here, uh, in advance what I did was I started with kind of a base for uh, a beurre blanc, which is a white wine and white wine vinegar and fresh shallots. Okay. Um, since we don't really have time to actually do the reduction here, what I've done is reduce that to what we call sec, which means dry, mm -hmm. and then we use a little bit of cream to bind it together. I we just want to add a little little bit of cream to, to, get it, to get it to hold. Otherwise, the sauce can break, because what we're going to do is add whole butter to this. So in a classic beurre blanc, it's just the white wine and shallots boiled down until they're dry. Exactly. And then you try to whisk in the butter without breaking the butter. And then you but serve it right away. But that little bit of cream just helps hold it together. Helps hold it all together. Right. And so, it's in butter anyway, so why not? So the rule of thumb is once you're sack and then you've added your cream is that you reduce the cream down to the thickness you want your sauce to be. Perfect. That's what I always do because once we start adding butter, it's never going to get any thicker. That's so a nice, once that's nice technique. warm I'm, and starting to boil a little bit, I'm just going to start whisking in my butter. And do you start with cold butter, Nick? I like to use it a little soft because in the kitchen we're always going 100 miles an hour, yeah. mm -hmm. and and you don't have time to really uh, 
to, to sit around and wait. So I prefer it to go a little bit quicker than that. But what I do try to do is keep my eye on it the whole time. Yeah. Because, uh, Sometimes the butter tries to break and separate exactly. out into oil and whey. What do you do when that happens? Because it's Well, not. what you do is you start back with cream again. You ah. take a little bit of cream, put it in the pan, reduce it down to the sauce consistency, and you re-add your broken sauce a little bit at a time. Ah. And it brings it all back together again. It's actually a very forgiving sauce. It's all about emulsification. That's exactly. I need that. So once we've got our butter whisked in there, I'm going to take my, uh, I've got a little strainer here, and I've got a little dish. And this is, we're making a lemon butter sauce. Some people like to start with the lemon in the reduction. I don't like to do that. I like to add my lemon in at the end because I want that fresh, bright lemon flavor. And actually, I'm gonna use this again, George. Okay. I'm you gonna know, take- you trusted me with this piece of fish, but I'm afraid I let it stick a little. I have a metal spatula if you wanna use it, it's right to your right. All right, see if you ever trust me again. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. Oh, it's really nice and bright. So I'm gonna take my, uh, I'm gonna keep my uh, strainer here because I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze this lemon into it, and I want to keep all the seeds out of it. So it's kind of a dual usage. Oh, so you're adding lemon again at the finish. I don't do it at the beginning. I just do it at the finish because I don't oh, want the, I don't the want the cooking process to cook out all that lemon flavor. I want it nice and fresh, so it's right bright, right at your palate. Ah, uh, yes. A little bit of salt and okay. pepper. Do you serve this same dish at Icon Grill? We do, or and thanks for saying that, Greg. We are the Icon Grill and the Zephyr Grill and Bar. It's actually All right. Zephyr's our second restaurant. We serve it at both. Popular dish at both restaurants. Oh, look see, at look that. at that. That's I knew I could oh, trust boy. it was well worth it. Well, it's your recipe, so how could I go wrong? <laughs> well, we've got one ready to go, so let's uh, okay. we can put a little sauce on that for you guys, and then we can give it a try. All right. So do you finish this in the oven, or is it I, just, no. just you like know, you that? The other great thing about using it, soul really is it cooks good. so quickly is that it takes, I mean, you saw, what was that, two minutes, three minutes tops? Yeah. Nick, you uh, you also it's did a, a nice cookbook thin too, didn't you, called Aroused so. Americana Cooking? Yeah, we call it Aroused Americana Cooking, and it's available at all of our restaurants, and it has this recipe in it. But I think it's more important that we get the recipe book from uh, from KCTS, because that's what it's all about. Well, thank you. Okay, so we've got our sole here. Um, we've got our sauce. We're going to actually just ladle some of that beautiful lemon butter over the top of it. You guys got your forks ready? Oh, yes. The last Always. thing we finish with, though, is a little Could fresh parsley. <laughs> We actually do fried capers. Nice. We fry the capers instead oh. of serving them raw. It makes them a little crisp. Take some of that really super sharpness yeah. out of it. A little bit yeah. of the bite out of it. That's and, the aroused part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the aroused and then we finish with some fresh lemon meat that we've just carved out of the out oh, of. It's a little supreme. Of a yeah, exactly. So, Beautiful. How about that? Well, give it a try, folks. Susie, give gorgeous. it a try. Susie, thank you for bringing Nick. You bet. Oh, she went right so, for the capers too. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> she's swooning. She's swooning. I Fabulous. Going for the capers. I'm about to eat this one right out of the pan. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, and this is this is just one of those recipes that's so simple. You just can't be scared of it. It's too easy. I you didn't understand. realize it was so easy, did you? I, I, I can understand why no you come, every time you come in, you want to order that. Every time. It is I know. wonderful. I need to expand, but I love it so much. I'm here to tell you, folks, if, <laughs> if you want some one. of the best food you've ever tasted with the minimum of effort, get the cookbook, okay? 1-800-443-1999. We're not making this up. This is some of the best food I've ever had, and that is wonderful. It's so good. Isn't that good? Thank you. That's it's really good. unbelievably good. Please, give us a call. Thank you, Susie, for Thank doing you. that. We really appreciate it. Thank you.